Give me the shoes. Yo, chill. I'm not trying to die. It's just my shoes. Oh, God! Straight cap that dude. Got some new shoes. Gotta put them on Instagram. Straight new pickups. Who that? It's gone. Why did you kill that man? I need some new shoes. That's not good enough. You shouldn't have done that. What the shoes? You betrayed me, Jimmy. No guns allowed. Were the shoes really worth it, Jim? Yeah. I don't think so. I think they were. Do you know what's next? Not a clue. You're going to hell. Nah, I don't think so. Welcome to hell. This ain't hell. Sure about well, that? Hell's supposed to be worse than this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ricky. Where am I? You're in heaven, son. Wait, really? Yes, you are. are. Are these my shoes? Indeed. Sweet! Thanks! In the Bible, we are shown early that in the book of Genesis that murder is very wrong. In the story of Cain and Abel, we are shown that we can't hide from a sin that is as serious as murder. God is all-knowing, and in the action of murder, we permanently damage our relationship with him. Catechism teaches us that we shall respect human life, we shall respect the dignity of people, and three, we shall safeguard the peace. The Catechism tells us that in the act of self-defense, or in the defense of someone else, killing an aggressor during the preservation of one's life is not intentional murder. Under the Fifth Commandment, capital punishment, intentional homicide, abortion, and suicide are all, are all against the Fifth Commandment. So overall, what we learned through the uh, Bible teachings and the Catechism teachings, and in Mr. O'Leary's class here, we learned that killing is just wrong in all ways. We should never feel the urge to kill anybody, and we should never feel the urge to kill ourselves. It's a very serious issue, and uh, that's why it is the Fifth Commandment. Thanks, O'Leary. Thank you. Oh, wait, time out. <laughs>